Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I have another episode of Wicked Beasts. And Wicked Beast is a series where I feature my subscribers' gameplay, and they go out and try to do whatever challenge that I name. And the challenge that I named in the previous episode was who can get the most frag grenades in a game. So, most frag kills. And the response was really astounding. It was amazing. Because not a single person sent any gameplay in. <laughs> so, since it had been a couple weeks and nobody even tried to get, see how many frags they could get in a game, I guess I'll never see a game with the most frags. So since no one did it, um, I f am featuring another Search and Destroy, the highest kill to death spread in a Search and Destroy, which was the challenge that I named before. And... Uh, X Sparta kill had sent me a message. I'm not sure how they messaged me, whether it was on Xbox Live or through YouTube, but I I had agreed to upload their game because it was like 21 and one. I'm like, yeah, you pretty much won. But then a few more weeks went by and I forgot who had messaged me, so I had to go back to the official channels. Of how you're supposed to submit your gameplay, which is sending it to wickedbeasts at gmail.com. And then when I went there, there was no gameplay from Sparta Kill, and I didn't see, you know, the 21 and 1 game submitted, so I didn't know who sent it. And so I figured as soon as I posted the winner, that I would be hearing from that person be like, What, man? You told me you would upload it, dude. And I was like, sorry, man. I already uploaded one for the challenge. Someone who emailed it to the email address. So he was mad. It, and, he, and he kept reminding me that I had promised that I said I would upload the game. So I am doing it. I'm making it up to you, dude. But in the future, all I'm not going to be making any more promises to upload people's gameplay unless it's going through official channels so any entries for the wicked beast challenge have to be emailed to wickedbeasts at gmail.com and when i say the uh, entries have to be emailed you don't have to have a capture card to enter you don't it doesn't matter if you're on ps3 or on pc or on xbox all three are eligible all you have to do is email what score you get to that email address so in the subject line it'll say like well I haven't named my next challenge so let me tell you I'll be more specific on what the email should say when I name my next challenge and I am going to name my next challenge right now so for the next challenge since you guys didn't like the goofy you know how many frag kills can you get in a game which I would have still like to have seen that but the next challenge is going to be how many kills that you can get without dying with a gun. So it doesn't count kill streaks. It's and it should show up on because your how many your highest kill streak doesn't show up on for kills from kill streaks anyway. So it's how many kills that you get with your gun alone, and you should see it in your combat record, like your highest kill streak, and that should tell you like you know if they're like this is my best game it should automatically tell you in the uh how many kill streaks that you have and i'm going to remove all the guns from the restricted list so you can use all guns and as you see he's using the famas and this and that was another thing that i named in the search and destroy challenge that this wasn't an eligible gun but here it is <laughs> so I'm going to remove it so everyone could use FAMAS, they could use the AK-74U and the G-11, and I am not responsible for any of the comments that you get for using those weapons. So whenever I use them, they're like, oh, come on, dude, the FAMAS, really, man, 74U, man, oh, come on, man. So, you'll have to put up with all those comments. I, I won't be defending you. 
<laughs> I have I have enough time defending myself against the weapons I use. So there's, there's so many. I, this is like Call of Duty is the only game that I know where it's like you get shit for using like the best classes and weapons that you can use to do good. Like, man, why do you have to use the gun that allows you to kill people the easiest? Why don't you use the gun that, like, really sucks and get awesome gameplays with it? Because it's like, that is really hard to do. <laughs> and especially when you're ranking up, I like using the weapons that... I, and personally, I don't even like the FAMAS that well, but... If all you use is the FAMAS, so you can definitely adjust to the recoil, because the recoil goes up and to the right, and you can counter it by pulling down to the left on the thumbstick. And if you use the FAMAS religiously and only use the FAMAS, like a lot of the MLG players do, then you can really adjust and know how much pressure you got to be giving to counter the recoil, and this thing will shoot like a laser at the highest fire rate in the game. <laughs> Well, it might not be the highest in the, in the game of all weapons. There might be some SMGs that are higher, but it's the highest fire rate for an assault rifle. And the AUG is the same stats, except different recoil. And the recoil on the AUG is a little uh, less predictable, but it's also, it's not as much, because it, it'll, it'll bounce around. Nice stab to the face. But I prefer the AUG. Just because I use a lot of different guns and it's not as easy to adjust to the recoil differences when, you, when you're switching up from other guns. But switching up to the FAMAS, for me at least, it's just hard for me to adjust to the FAMAS. I, and I have used the FAMAS for like, you know, play a whole three or four hours and after a while you get used to, to using the FAMAS and used to countering the recoil and then it gets a lot easier and you can be very precise. But unless you use it a lot, if you don't use it, you lose it. I'm doing a little ring around the rosy there. The next, next Sparta kill is able to come up behind him and shoot him in the butt. So he's already at 17 and 0. So this is a pretty beastly score for a search and destroy match. And it, and it goes for seven rounds. So it goes three and three. And then I, you'll see the dramatic ending. Oh man, I just totally ruined it. I totally ruined the surprise. <laughs> but I'll put a link to Sparta Kill's channel in the description. And you can go over there and tell him that I uploaded his gameplay. So he, he can be happy now, I hope. I hope this makes him happy. Because... <laughs> I finally, I finally came through to my word. It's probably been like six weeks to two months ago that I said that I would upload this. So I'm finally getting it uploaded. And he was very persistent in reminding me of my promises. So, <laughs> look at that corner camper. Corner camper, wait there with the M14. What are you doing there? <laughs> so this is the last round. And he's got a good route where he goes up on the balcony and then cuts across up above their spawn. He controls this trail, controlling the center of the map. It's a good spot to control. And he does a good pre-fire around the corner here because the guy's totally waiting for him. It's a good job. And so everyone, if you would like to submit, anyone can submit for the next challenge, the most kills. You could use any guns, you could use any kill streaks that you want, but they don't count towards your kill streak. So it's just how many kills that you get with your gun. So you might as well use UAVs and blackbirds and things like that that can help you find people to shoot with your gun. And, and it doesn't just have to be your gun, you can pick up any gun that you want. And it'll be interesting seeing what the highest kill streak is. I forget what mine is. I think it's like 28, maybe. <laughs> so, send those submissions in. And the final score was 21 and 1. Props to this ex Sparta kill for the beastly gameplay. And hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.